This is honestly a dream come true, Mabu High Squad. Seriously. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, I'm here on the roof deck and I wanna try something. Oh my gosh. They flew up here, guys, again. Hi guys, you guys are masters at flying up to the roof deck now, huh? You guys are masters. Where is Rojo? So guys, if you haven't seen the last vlog, these Crimson Belly Conures have made it to the top. They know how to fly up here, and uh, it does look like they love it up here. They get some really good quality sun here on the roof deck of the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. Yes, see? Awesome, right? Hi guys, where's Rojo? Pretty cool up here, right? Mm-hmm. Hi, Ruby. Yes. Hey, Rubes. This here is Scarlet. Oh, and there's Rojo. Hi, Rojo. Nice of you to join us. Hi there. <laughs> Guys, every time they are up there, they're frozen. They just are completely shocked by it all. The upper world. <laughs> they're, they're completely non-moving. As for the other two birds, they're here on the branches. That's Gabriella on the shelf. And this here is Marcelo. Hi, Marcelo. Handsome boy. And um, the third blue nape is in the cage. That's Clara, but she's unable to fly, sadly. She doesn't have wing feathers or tail feathers. So she just hangs out by the cage. There she is. There's Clara, getting some sun as well. Hi there, Gabriella. Yes, hi, Gabriella. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's so cool to interact with the parrots. Like here on the second floor behind glass. <laughs> Gabriella's so confused about glass still. Um, so if you're new, I had to glass train these birds by placing um, soap. It's basically a bar of soap and I just drew some spirals and um, some anti-collision UV bird decals which just stick to the window and uh, it lets the bird know that there's glass there because in the wild birds don't have anything like glass like there's there's no way they naturally know and understand the concept of glass so um, I've trained my birds to not fly into the glass and kill themselves uh, by adding this and it basically just shows them that there's glass there. They'll come up to the glass to touch it and even touch the spirals and the stickers, but they won't, they haven't yet, knock on wood, crossing fingers, they haven't crashed into the glass, which is good. It's a good sign. It's so funny. <laughs> Gabriella, you're so funny. Uh-oh, don't be biting my window frames. Mm-mm-mm. So guys, how have you been? Did you sleep well? Did you have a good day? Huh? Let me know. Um, as for me, I'm just here editing, working on an Ants Canada video um, here in the green room. I love how peaceful the house is um, when I'm working. It's just, I really enjoy working. And then when I take a break from long hours of editing, I just come out here and I look at the birds in the aviary playing, right? And it just, it's almost like a resetter. It resets my brain and calms, calms me down. It's really nice. And it's kind of cute. The birds follow me around. Like before, they were all the way down there and Gabriella followed me here. Let's see, let's see her follow me this way. Gabriella! Gabs! I'll sit right here in the seating area. Here she comes. See? <laughs> oh, so cool. Love it so much. Gabriella, you are such a great flyer. Conyers are way up there, catching some rays, <laughs> but I think they're gonna come down soon. I have to feed them their lunch. <laughs> they say, yes, feed us lunch. Yes, please, yes. All right, time to feed the dragons, guys. Time to feed the dragons. Let's see if they fly down from all the way up there. Yes, I got your food. I got your food. Guys, check them out. Okay, you guys have your own. 
And there they go. Feast, my dragons, feast. I'm sure they're hungry now that they're flying a lot more. I, I'm increasing their food intake. Feast, my dragons, feast. Yes. Feast on your healthy lunch slash dinner dry mix. Go, go, go. They're talking to each other. Here comes Marcelo. Come, Marcelo. Lunch time. Marcelo's checking out the bowl. He's like, is it worth it? What's inside? Yep, definitely worth it. Feast, Marcelo, feast, my dragon. Just sitting here, it's afternoon. Um, just trying to enjoy our living room. See that? Just hanging out alone. I'm not sure where RJ is. I think he's outside somewhere working. I finished all my work and I'm just really trying to soak all of this in. Honestly, just like chilling on the couch, looking at all the furniture pieces that we chose and remembering how long it took to build this house. Seriously, the longest and most difficult, most complex project RJ and I have ever worked on, um, especially RJ. This here, of course, is our Vito Selma coffee table. Beautiful, right? This sort of ibis slash egret ornament is Kenneth Kobunpoi. That there is Ethan Allen. That pine cone is also Ethan Allen. This coffee table is Kenneth Kobunpoi. That beautiful, beautiful lounge chair is Itokish, called the Gregoria chair. And just really soaking this all in like I I don't want to take any of this for granted this was a lot of hard work and I love the Mabuhai Squad farmhouse I just it feels good I like the energy here at home this here is the um, Bulul lamp uh, Kenneth Kobunpoi as well those flower chandeliers also Kenneth this massive pilly nut lamp is Milo Naval from Omo Furniture. All of this stuff, except for Ethan Allen, is all Filipino made. Cool, right? You gotta support local. Here in the Philippines, we have some of the best um, furniture designers in the world. And uh, so RJ and I wanted to support those carvings. My gosh, every corner, guys, has a story. <laughs> These carvings, you guys saw when we went to Paete Laguna here in the Philippines. Um, it's a town that specializes in carvings and um, they were sadly really affected by the pandemic. Like literally carpenters and woodworkers and artists had no work. So when we went there, we definitely wanted to support and we had them create these gorgeous hand carved pieces that fit on our foundational pillars. See, look at them. This was all etched. Like when we were there, I watched the workers like take a hammer and that little scalpel thing, I don't know what it's called, chisel, and like etch the wood. And then it's gotta be treated and varnished and all of that. Such a long process. And the beauty of all of this is it's made by hand. So like the, it's the little imperfections that give it a lot of character. And for me, make it more valuable. This here reminds me of Lady Gaga. <laughs> Seriously, it reminds me of Lady Gaga. I just like the dragon and the horns, right? It reminds me of her latest album, Chromatica. Um, this here is also Ito Kish, Kenneth Kobunpoi, um, Ethan Allen, those horns. Also these, are, I believe, are Ethan Allen. This here is the Yoda chair by Kenneth. And guys, well, you guys saw when we visited the Kenneth Kobunpoi showroom in Cebu. Um, one thing Kenneth uh, said to us as a word of advice was, don't be in a hurry to fill your house up with furniture. Don't feel the pressure, like just fill it up slowly as time goes on. Because he says that, you know, as you get older, your tastes change your energy changes. So um, I took that to heart, I agree. Like let's, let's collect stuff slowly. If we see things that we really vibe with and resonate with, we'll, we'll get it and put it in our home. But there's no rush to fill up our entire place with stuff because that's the one thing I don't want to do. I don't want to hoard. 
I don't want any of the rooms to become storage rooms. I want it open. Well, guys, look at what we just got from Milo's Flowers. What a beautiful bouquet just for you. <laughs> it's so pretty. Lots of pink and blues and white. Look at that leather strap. Wow. So nice. Thank you so much, Milo's Flowers. It's quite nice. Mm, and they smell so good. Like I could smell them all the way from here. It says, start each day with positive thought. Dear Sir Mikey, we hope these flowers add an extra touch to your day. May you continue to bloom and inspire hearts. Aw, oh, thank you so much. That is awesome. It's so nice, RJ. Oh, did you pick one already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so cute. That's quite nice. Random surprise, right? Random gifts from the universe. That's really, really sweet. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to distract the birds by adding a toy onto here because maybe they'll leave my Spanish moss alone. Here you go, Gabs. Try this, try biting this. This is an awesome toy. Yeah. Go. There you go. See? Try it. She's like, no, I like the Spanish moss. <laughs> oh, guys, I think it's working. Awesome. This is one of the toys of the Conures. Um, they don't really play with it anymore, but it looks like Gabriella really likes it. Sweet. Okay, now I know how to like keep her from chewing my plants. Just provide her with lots of toys that she could destroy. I think she's a bit more interested in me. Like, she's kind of wondering how I'm here on this side of the glass. Go play with your toy. Success. Yes. Destroy, destroy it, my dragon. Go. Satisfy your passions and desires for destruction. Clara's out. Don't be, sh don't be shy. Hi, Clara. We'll target train. Good bird. You're so good. You're so good at this. It's nice of you to join us. Clara is very good at target training. She knows. Good bird. Yes, you're a good bird. Very good bird. She's also the shyest. Mm -hmm. You want another? <laughs> and she's the oldest, right? You're over one year old. And you're so beautiful. I can't wait for your new plumage to come in so you could fly with the other birds. Mm -hmm. It's okay. In time, we'll be patient. Meanwhile, I'll work on your shyness through this target training. We'll bond. You and I, we're good friends with my Mabuhay Squad too, okay? Mm -hmm. Good bird. That was the lightest touch ever. You gotta be gentle to earn the trust of these birds. Um, and a lot of times it's like two steps forward, one step back. It's like super gradual. Touch it. Touch it. Touch your stick. No, you have to touch the stick first. Come here. Good bird. <laughs> Guys, let's see if the other birds will come down. Come on. Gabriella? Come. They're not so hungry. I mean, it's, it's evening. They finished their lunch slash dinner. Come. You guys want seeds? Huh? They're not interested. <laughs> Good bird. Good bird. 
Look at that eye pinning. She likes the treat. There's Marcelo. Marcelo, you gonna come join? Would you like some too? Come. He's he's looking, he's like, I want treats. Gabriella's coming. Come. Gabriella. You gonna come? You're gonna sleep. You're getting ready to roost? So it's approaching evening soon. I think they're getting tired. They're get, these birds are getting ready to roost. They're gonna hang out, possibly eat a little bit, but more on like pre prepping for bed. Come. The grooming and stuff. Good bird. Yes, good bird. Look at her. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. You're destroying all my Spanish moss. <laughs> More? Good bird. Gosh, just magnificent creatures. I cannot get over how beautiful these birds are, honestly. They're so gorgeous. You got a lot of sun today. It was a great, great day today. Mm -hmm. It's a great, great day. Where are you gonna sleep? Are you gonna sleep up in the tree again? Or are you gonna sleep in the cage? In your cage, like old times? Hmm? You wanna join Marcelo? You wanna eat? There's still some food left, I think. Mm. And as for the conures? I think they're planning on sleeping up there. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh, guys, no, look. The Conyers flew to the roof. That is awesome. And this time I didn't call them up. They just did it on their own. This will now forever be a custom, maybe. Like as the sun goes down, they want to watch the sunset. Oh, it's just beautiful. My oh boy squad, we are so lucky. To be able to like watch birds learn. Don't you guys find that such a cool, cool thing? Guys, isn't it awesome to just spoil our animals? I don't know what it is. It's just something about it. Guys, it is just incredible to watch the conures fly around the aviary. It's crazy. And look, they like, there they go. They like breathe heavily. Like it's really athletic. Flight is very athletic, guys. And so I know these birds are really just right now building their muscles and their endurance. Like wild birds, they have no choice. They need to fly, 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 fly for miles and miles and miles. And they build up that like awesome athleticism and stamina over time. But for like captive birds, like pet birds, especially birds that have like pretty much grown up in a cage, they really need to build up to it. It's like working out. Um, so I know over time, they will build those wing muscles and become even better flyers than they are now. But I find they follow me. I love that. See, there they go. They are awesome flyers. So good. But I'm sure they enjoy it. I know they enjoy flying. I could just tell. I bet it's like dancing for birds. See? See how good they are? They're so good. Wow, they are noisy. I think it means they're happy. A lot of parrots will screech right at sunset. I'm sure they're happy. And so birds screech when they're happy. Which makes me happy. This is honestly a dream come true, Mabu High Squad. Seriously. <laughs> I could sit here all day and watch the birds. Do you hear them? Even the wild birds are answering them back. Relaxing now with the doggies. Yes. Hi guys. Hi Brittany. Hi Rizalzis. Mm -hmm. You're so fluffy. So, so fluffy. This is... This is Rizal, our giant poodle. 
but they but they're really standard poodle abroad that's what you call them um, this is Brittany a Sholo eats squintly also known as a Mexican hairless ew don't lick your butt <laughs> um, she's a hairless breed of dog all skin yes and of course the siblings Cypher and Sahara I love watching them run around and play yes Mm. Love your shaggy fur, Mizal. Go see, go see what they're, what what they're looking at. Where th they probably hear outside dogs. So when they walk around the home, I keep a close watch on them, particularly the males, because they scent mark, and I have to catch them in the act so that they don't do it. So far, they've been good. They're not peeing or pooing where they're not supposed to. The girls, they've mastered peeing and pooing in the right spot, um, which is on pu some puppy pads there. Ideally, I would love for them to hold their pee and poo until they go outside, but because uh, the workers, like we don't have a proper gate yet, so we can't just open the door and allow the dogs to free roam. Even though we can, they don't run away. Um, we don't know if any street dogs are in our yard early in the morning, all of that kind of stuff. Good morning! Guys, it's about, what, 7 a.m.? Um, I see the blue napes are in the trees, and guys, the crimson bellies are up there, flying all around. It's awesome to see. They they so love it up there. I believe they even slept up there last night. <laughs> I just love watching them fly. They see me, so that's why they're trying to follow me. Hi guys. I got you. I'm going to make your breakfast. <laughs> oh, so good to see them maneuver in the air. They like they're able to really like you know, do crazy crazy stunt-like movements in the air. It's a really different thing being able to watch them fly in a big space. Love that. OMG guys, I just noticed there are three blue napes in the tree. See? There's um, Marcelo and Gabriella and Clara is finally in the tree. Awesome. All right, I'm not gonna remove the rope because clearly that's how she got up there, I think. Cute. Good morning, birds. Oh, Conyers, I've got your breakfast. Wow, look at them fly around. They know. Mm-hmm. Breakfast is served. I hope Clara can get down. I mean, she got up, so I'm assuming she can. Clara, you want breakfast? I mean, I know. Here, guys, breakfast. I know Marcelo and Gab can come down. Here, breakfast. Hi. Good morning. Morning, Ruby. Yes. Oh my gosh. Ruby, this is not for you. Yours is in here. Go inside. There. There you go. Oh my gosh. I gotta put this in. There's Gabriella. Come on, Gabs. Call Marcelo down. Let's go. I mean, I'll continue to feed them through the cages, but eventually, eventually I need to figure out a way to feed them outside. Yay, all three Crimson Bellied Conyers eating breakfast now. You guys like it up there, huh? You guys love the altitude. So happy. Yes, feast, my dragons, feast. I think Clara is gonna make her way down. Let's see how she goes down. She's hungry. Go ahead, you can do it, same way you went up, oh, she's not secure, I'm actually surprised she made her way up because it's, it's not, it's very unstable, okay let's see, oh okay so that's how she did it, oh she's good, 
Marcelo is flying down, making his way down. I think what I need to do is like really add a branch. But I'm just happy that she's exercising like those muscles because sitting around in a cage all day is not good either. She has to problem solve, so it uses her brain. She can't fly, right? But she can definitely climb. I put a guava fruit in their foraging toy. Fire ants don't really like guava fruit. Go ahead, join Gabs. Okay, Marcelo's going in. Let's see how she's gonna do it. Oh, is she going down to the blue, blue nips? I mean, to the crimson's cage? Don't tell me she's gonna eat from the crimson bellies bowl. OMG, she is. <gasps> She's gonna take the easier route. She's gonna shoo those conures away. Oh no, wait, I think she's trying to figure out a way to get across. Oh, she's gonna get across through the branches? Oh, that's how, maybe that's how she did it, guys. Okay, interesting. There she goes. Smart bird. Just a little bit more. She's like, it's too far. Too far yet too close. Oh, there. Guys, she flew. That's good too. She flew from that little twig up into the cage. She's like, this is a flight I can make. And now she's gonna go in. Awesome. All right, guys, so it's kind of a big day because for as long as I remember, we have had the same gate. Um, and they're finally changing it. Like literally, this gate is maybe three, four years old. Guys, check this out. So this is our Saba tree, right? You can see the huge fruit right there. Those are Saba bananas. They're called sweet plantain. And you saw in yesterday's vlog, there was a huge banana flower. Well, it wilted. So I think I'm gonna collect this. Like this, holy, these are, th these are thick petals. Wow, my birds could chew this. And then this, these here, these are healthy. I could just wash this and like give it to my birds. Ow, fire ants got to it. I'm gonna collect this. This is healthy stuff. Okay, I got the flowers. Ate Elsie says we don't eat this. Okay, I guess the birds won't eat that either. But they can eat this. I just need to wash it, I think. All right, wash them really well. Would you like a banana flower, Gabriella? Here, I'll give you one. Look at all of that Spanish moss they snipped from the top. Rest in peace, Spanish moss. How about banana flowers? See if she likes it. Is it yummy? Mmm. Yeah, um, <laughs> the conures are like, what's going on there? What are you eating? It's banana flower. Hi there. Would you like a banana flower? Here. She's scared of it. Here. Too weird. Anyway, I'll keep these. I'll put them in the fridge and um, maybe I'll mix it with their morning chop. But it does look like Gabriella's liking it. Marcelo flew down to inspect. He's totally watching Gabriella eating that banana flower. Here, would you like one, Marcelo? Here. It's delicious. I think. <laughs> here, Marcelo, come. Come, come, come. I'll lay it right here for you. Right there. Go ahead. Go, eat it. Marcelo's going down. He wants to try that banana. Peace. Don't steal it from Gab. There, there's one right here. Here, Marcelo. There you go. Awesome. Feast, feast, my dragons, feast. She's finished hers. Hey, don't steal it from him. Here you go. There you go. 
I love it. It's afternoon now and all three blue napes are in their cages. It's good to know that they still have a love for their original home base, you know what I'm saying? Good to know. So if ever I need to take any of you to the vet, I know how to get you guys. Just place some yummy food inside. Guys, rest in peace to our Spanish moss. <laughs> One clump just fell. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, the blue napes love to chew on this. I believe they're actually eating it. The conures kind of nip at it, but it's not, it's not their favorite thing to chew. So I guess I'm just gonna try to hang this back up um, and until they pick apart each Spanish moss. Or I could maybe try hanging it somewhere else, like on those branches up there, or we'll see. But oh well, it was nice knowing a Spanish moss. <laughs> The saviouries for the birds. Guys, just here on the roof deck with Sahara. And ah, uh, you conures are too good. You guys are too good. You are masters at flying up here now. <laughs> I love the sounds they make when they're up here. Are you, are you, are you bopping your head? Are you listening to music? Ah, uh, so good. Come this way. Come. Come, come, come. I want to see them fly across. Come, come, come. Yes! Oh, you guys are so good. Yes! <laughs> you guys are so, so good. Good birds. Okay, I'm going. I'll see you downstairs. Ooh, guys, the gate is looking awesome. So we're gonna eventually paint this. So it looks really nice, but yay! So cool to see a nice gate. Guys, I was like, where are the crimson belly conures? So I looked, I'm like, are they here? No. I checked all four corners and I could not find them. See, not on that side, not here. But guess what? I looked up and there they are, up in the corner, sleeping. Sorry guys, don't mean to disturb ya the uppermost corner of the aviary. I think that's gonna be their forever favorite place to sleep, right up there in the corner. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. Guys, it's nighttime. And look at what I saw. See them? All three blue napes are up there, including Clara. How cute is that? I'm so happy. Oh, sorry to wake ya. I am so happy that the three are now united up in that tree. So it does seem like this rope is effective, but it's just unattractive. I do wanna add, and it's also hard for her to climb up. So I think I'm going to try to add branches really. I just gotta figure out a beautiful way to do it. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I have my hair cut, you see? Um, guys, it's morning time and look. You can't keep the conures away from the roof deck. They just love it there. They love it so much. They're there most of the day and they're sunbathing and they just chill there. It's awesome. They come down for breakfast. They already ate their breakfast and they just love it. As for the blue napes, all three of them are in their cage currently. They also had breakfast. They prefer to just chill there, under the banana leaf. For breakfast, I made overnight oats. Um, basically, to make overnight oats, you just take oatmeal, put in some water, throw in whatever you want. I've got pumpkin seeds in here, almonds, cut up dates, and um, goji berries, see? Chia seeds, and cinnamon powder. Super healthy breakfast, power breakfast. Guys, promise, if you eat this every morning, it is so nutrient dense, you'll feel great through the day. Um, and oh my gosh, it's better than like greasy bacon and eggs. And I mean, eggs are healthy, don't get me wrong, but like, you know, it, it basically it's a healthy breakfast and the dates sweeten it really well. If you're gonna have sugar, you might as well have nutrient-dense sugar. Our gate is done! Yay! Awesome! Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. Nice and gray. See? Guys, now they're beautifying the wall. Like, our, our gate. 
and fence. Do you like it? And then it's right beside the guardhouse right here. And yeah, it's, I love the way it looks and it's gray, yay. This will be automated, um, attached to our smart system, everything. And guys, did you know that smart technology now is crazy? To the point where if we were to drive up here and like the sensor sees our license plate or any other license plate that we program into the smart system, it will automatically open. I cannot wait for this whole area to look really nice. Like even our driveway, it needs work. They're currently digging a, like a drainage system. Um, so we can have kind of like proper management of water, right? And oh, RJ bought these big bins, trash bins. Um, and we will probably use one for recycling as well. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Me and RJ are in love. Guys, this is from a Filipino artist named Norli Mimbian. I hope I pronounced his name right. But he is so talented. RJ and I saw his artwork in a gallery once and we fell in love with his style. And um, basically it's made with upcycled materials. Like look, CDs, see this is Michael. Lady Gaga, it's like string. Um, there's even vinyl back there. There's like a vinyl record, see? And of course that's Freddie Mercury. We've done parodies on each of these artists. Um, and I think we're gonna do two more, I think. We need Mariah, we need Britney, and we need Amy Winehouse. And Christina Aguilera, of course. But yeah, isn't that nice? So this is gonna be going in the studio. Uh, in our entertainment room. So beautiful. Filipino artists, man. Support them, go check him out. The Michael, we uh, bought from him and then we commissioned him to do Lady Gaga and uh, Freddie. Ah, all right guys, so thank you so, so much for watching this vlog again. Um, pretty bird heavy. Uh, this content because guys like this is so exciting this whole journey of like building this aviary that I've been dreaming about for so so long but thank you guys so much for being part of the journey thank you if you've made it all the way to the end of this vlog um, and thanks for being part of this home building journey as well like it's just a total dream come true every day uh, waking up being able to vlog here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. So guys, please remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog as it lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences um, and I know you guys have been so thank you so much and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our Mabu High Squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Love you guys so much. Thank you. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.